vandalized Mitchell? Yeah. Do me a favor. Take your hands out of your pockets, please. Put your hands up on the hood, please. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not, man. Are you Gene Velez Mitchell? Yes. Okay. I I don't understand. What's going What's going on? I have a warrant for your arrest. Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding you, ma'am. I'll explain it all to you when you get back to the station, all right? I can't believe this. When those lights went on and suddenly I'm stopped in the middle of the night on the street, it was like uh, an outer body experience. I I'm like, what is going on here? It's almost like your regular life is taken off the desktop and thrown in the trash file, but you realize this movie is actually happening to me. What? Dispatch car 13. We have Gene Velez Mitchell in our custody on a warrant transporting back to our station. <laughs> Come with me outside. <sighs> I've covered a whole lot of trials and still never registered in my mind how completely emotionally annihilating being behind bars is for a human being. There we go. All right. This is, it's not the way everybody thinks it is. I didn't do it. Recycle in future. This wouldn't have happened. Just, just put the plastic bottle in the bin, the recycle bin, not in the garbage. I can't believe this is going on all night. What the heck? There is no fashion in jail, honey. Sorry. There's no fashion in jail. Yeah. You heard it here first. Obviously, I knew going in that I was doing this for a story, but. It's so shocking how I quickly forgot all that. And, and I really felt like, wait a second, you're telling me I got to stand here? These cops were treating me like an actual prisoner. So I wasn't able to do what I wanted to do. I couldn't just say, stop tape, I'm going to take a break now and I'll come back in an hour. So I really got to experience what it's like to lose those freedoms. Well, those knickers. Those are my knickers. <laughs> and it, it, it sends chills through my body to think about it even now because um, it wasn't fake to me. Ask you a couple questions, okay? This is like a really bad hotel. <sighs> well, we're not five star. All right, Jane, I need you to look at the camera. Come on, Jane. I'm gonna What's put you in this? a cell for a little while. You're not gonna leave me in here too long, are you? Oh, when the nurses have a minute, Please. they're going to come see you. I need a lawyer. All right. What I need you to do is I want you to take a really quick look around the cell, okay? If you find any damage, you're going to need to note it. The only thing that gets flushed down that toilet is toilet paper. I don't want orange peels. I don't want milk cartons. I'll be right back with something for you to eat. Are you kidding me? I can't get out? When they close that door, it's, it's like for whom the bell tolls. You can't imagine what it's like until you're in there. I was never able to imagine what it was like until I got in there and experienced it for myself. All right, Jane, I'm back like I promised. Here you go. Here's something for you to eat, all right? Uh, I, I, don't, I don't want this. I'm a, I'm a vegan. I don't eat, I don't drink milk. You don't drink milk? No. Do you want to take the sandwich no. and take the meat off no. of it for now? It's going to be a while before we can get you a vegetarian diet. No. You're going to have a hungry night if you don't want this. I don't want it. This is what animals must feel like living in a zoo. When you're sleeping at night, you cannot pull the covers over your head. We need to see you're physically there. I'm supposed to spend 23 hours a day here by myself? 